We all want to live larger than life, own a mansion, fly a private jet, and flash that billion dollar smile as we are stunned by paparazzi. But some don't just live larger than life, they rule the world. From the Arab princes neck deep in dazzle and splendor to the European powers and their simplicity. Welcome to Luxury Flow. Let's get today's video on the top 10 richest royals in the world. Our list begins with House Aladuliej of Thailand. The Thai royal family is led by His Majesty, the infamous Bumibol Aduliadej. Their vast fortune, which is estimated at around $60 billion, has been acquired through the Crown Property Bureau. The Bureau holds nearly half of all their assets through which they operate the royal money. House Aduliadej used to be highly beloved in Thailand, but since Bumibol ascended to the throne, his exorbitant lifestyle, extravagant purchases, and pretty much insane behavior has pushed the country to seek a democratic change. In one of the worst sentences of his abuse of power, Bumibol spared no attempts when it was time to say his final goodbye to his dear beloved dog. You heard that right. He organized a lavish funeral for his pet dog. The pet's funeral stretched over four days and cost several million dollars. How many lives was this dog worth? The king lavishes wealth on himself, but has not been the model of good governance. Now, let's move on to Morocco. Here, we have one of the oldest families on the list, with their origins dating as far back as the 13th century. This is the House Alawiti. They have been ruling Morocco for the past 500 years. Fair to say, that did not leave them impoverished at all. Quite the contrary, in fact, as ruling the nation has turned out to be quite the cash cow. The Moroccan royal family consists of 19 people, and they share $20 billion collectively. Although the king, Mohammed IV, gets the lion's share. On top of his investments and business ventures around the world, the king receives an annual salary of half a million dollars for his fair share of troubles. Did you know that this compensation, however generous it might be, can barely afford to cover the maintenance costs of the palace and fess? Plus, King Mohammed IV has even more palaces around the world. Up to a dozen, in fact. Speaking of home away from home, when you move across the Mediterranean Sea and into the Iberian Peninsula, you will find another major principality in the city cuddled between Austria and Switzerland, 16 miles long and 5 miles wide across the Rhine River in the Alps. Meet House Liechtenstein. Its rulers, the Liechtenstein family, are among the wealthiest, not just in Europe, but the entire world. With a net worth of over $4.4 billion, most of the royal assets are in the ruler's name, Prince John Adam II of Liechtenstein. Since the family pays no taxes, the family-owned LGT Group Bank has been raking in a lot of cash, and the prince also controls a vast portfolio of high-value properties, a few of which are castles and palaces across Austria and Czechia. Up next, we have the House Bolkia of Bruni. The interesting part of this powerful royal family is that, in spite of British and other foreign occupations over the years, House Bolkia has been in power for over 800 years in Brunei. The ultra-wealthy family have a pretty weird taste, even for extravagant royalties. Guess who spends $21,000 on a haircut? The Sultan of Brunei. Maybe he was just giving a really generous tip. Who knows? The Bruni leaner owns a $400 million private jet, which he decorated with another $120 million worth of gold. How does the plane even fly? At around $30 billion? It is reported that the Sultan earns $147 per second. Maybe this should be the new minimum wage. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section down below. The Arabian Peninsula is home to some of the richest royal families on earth. The first of them on our list is House Maktoum of Dubai. This royal family has ruled the Emirate of Dubai for about 200 years now. They are the founding fathers that transformed a piece of wasteland into a paradise, accumulating vast wealth from the time worth around 19 billion of today's dollars. The head of the dynasty is crowned the richest of them by far. He is also the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. While his business acumen has enriched his empire, the Sheikh also knows how to make the most of his wealth by having fun. His son, Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has a vast collection of golden cars with many unique models. He also has a fleet of luxury tanks that were built for the oil magnates to provide joyrides in the deserts because why not? Now, back to Europe to that tiny, powerful island, the United Kingdom's House Windsor. The British family can be said to have transcended the status of being a mere super-rich royal family and become a household name all over the world. Even the Queen and whatever you think of her hat and handbag has made it into our pop culture. The royal family has combined a wealth of over $88 billion, most of them in real estate in Great Britain. The family's portfolio has around $10 billion worth of properties, 
among which are prized palaces like Windsor Palace and Buckingham Palace. Typically, the king or queen of any royal family are the richest, but not the Windsors. Here, inheritance is quite different. The richest among them will never even climb the throne. The queen's $500 million is just 10% of her granddaughter's $5 billion. Oh yes, Princess Charlotte, who is just six years old, is the richest kid walking the face of the earth. Easy on the candy, sweetheart. One thing you would not see is a British royal flashing cash. They don't by any means flaunt their wealth. They don't have golden cars, groundbreaking warships turned into glorified quad bikes, or, or pirouetting pandas chanting the national anthem. Up next is the House of Thani, Qatar, led by Sheikh Tamim bin Almad Al Thani. The Sheikh is currently the youngest sovereign in the world at the tender age of 41. Yet, he is the leader of one of the most influential families worth an estimated $335 billion. The main source of revenue for this family is oil, although they own a large portfolio of properties in the UK and New York. It's interesting to note that the Qatar royal family happens to own more property in the UK than the British royal family. The House of Thani are also major shareholders in giant companies like Volkswagen, as well as other top companies like Barclays and Tiffany & Co. The family lives in the capital city of Doha, in the royal palace that is worth more than a billion dollars. The next of the royals that makes it to our list is the House Nayan of Abu Dhabi. The Abu Dhabi royal family, led by His Majesty, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. The family is worth around $150 billion, and their primary source of income is, you guessed it, the oil trade. The family owns several world-class hotels, as well as the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The Royal Palace of Qasir Al Watan costs roughly $2 billion and is the biggest one in the world, covering an astounding 380,000 square meters with billions of dollars worth of yachts, cars, and planes. Speaking of premium life, the next richest royal family is in Kuwait, the House of Al Sabah of Kuwait. This royal family has ruled Kuwait for the past 300 years and have taken the time to accumulate $360 billion in the process. As it stands today, the head of the family is the Emir, His Majesty Sheikh Sabah El Ahmad Al Yaba Al Sabah, though a large portion of their wealth also comes from oil exports. The family has diversified interests from assets worldwide, especially in America. The family is known for their luxurious, larger than life, lavish spending. They financed a $775 million cultural center, which in itself is a marvelous piece of architectural genius. Inside, there are libraries, theaters, an opera house, and even conference halls. That's how you preserve your culture while you enjoy the luxuries your money can provide. At the top of the list is the richest royals in the world, the House Saad of Saudi Arabia. Although it is being shared among 15,000 family members, the House of Saud sits on a shared inheritance of $1.7 trillion. They are the richest family in the entire world, thanks to their oil reserves and they do not hide it. For the Saud family, if it is not golden, it is not worthy of attention. This includes everything from golden yachts, cars, and furniture, and even a golden bicycle. Because why the heck not? Their portfolio is as big as it is heavy. They own prime real estate in plush areas of France, and they most recently purchased at a record-breaking price of $450.3 million for 500 euro Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi's portrait of Jesus Christ. Well, that marks the end of today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you were to happen to be born in any of these families, which one would you choose? Fame or fortune? Don't forget, you can only pick one, guys. Tell us what you think in the comment section down below. And please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, we'll catch you later.